Thank you, Devin. But well, on May 3, 1921, Sugar Ray Robinson was one of the best boxers of his time. His record was 128 wins, one loss, two draws, with 84 knockouts. The funny thing is that Sugar Ray Robinson isn't his real name. I know it's crazy who would want to have the name Sugar Ray Robinson, but his real name is Walker Smith Jr. He just gathered sugar from the sun, but on May 3, 1921, Sugar Ray Robinson was one of the best boxers of his time. His record was 128 wins, one loss, two draws, with 84 knockouts. The funny thing is that Sugar Ray Robinson isn't his real name. I know it's crazy who wouldn't want to have the name Sugar Ray Robinson. But his real name is Walker Smith Jr. Sugar Ray Leonard just gathered sugar from Sugar, uh, from sugar Ray Robinson. Walker died on April 12, 1989. After this date, his career became immortal, most memorable besides Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and Joe Lewis. Sugar Ray has always been a keen reader in so-called sweet science, and, and Ray Leonard was an example of just how sweet and refined boxing could be. Beginning in 1976, when he won the Olympic gold medal in Montreal, Sugar Ray never saw the fight that didn't entice him, which was a hazardous way to be given the name, the mean set of contemporaries surrounding him during boxing's boom period of the 1980s. Hovering in his orbit were names like Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Puerto Rico's own Wilfred Benitez Hardstrong, fighters and marauders, knockout artists, and world champions. Now, here is Deontay with the CNAC. Deontay? Now, here is Deontay with the CNIC. Deontay? Thank you, Trevor. The CNC Cambridge Nonviolent Action Committee it was, was a long struggle for freedom. The Cambridge Nonviolent Action Committee formed in 1963 to target segregation and racial inequality in the eastern shore of Maryland City. Of Cambridge. Events in Cambridge so close to the nation's capital alarmed and embarrassed the Kennedy administration. Attorney General Robert Kennedy began, began talks with CNAC and other civil rights organizations. The Cambridge group reached an agreement with the Kennedy administration. That would, that would have brought about significant changes in Cambridge and brought an end to the rampant, rampant violence. It was dubbed the Treaty of Cambridge. It was a crazy time in the 50s and the CNAC was a part of the all-time craziness. This, this is, is it. This is it from DDT News. Have a nice night, New Brian. Here are a few images of the CNAC. And here are some pictures of Sugar Ray Robinson. <laughs> 